cold. I imagine. <laughs> Although I have to say, I'm so appreciative of all these fans who have shown up and are willing to brave the cold for us. It's really fantastic. This is England. This is warm. <laughs> well, I grew up. In, I grew up in New England, which was cold too. But I still going out here at night. Good for thank, thank, thankful. You must have got used to it though, filming over here for a. Uh... What, what was it, a few months at least? I think this might be my 17th or 18th movie I've been involved shooting in London. So, uh, yeah, you know, I, I love London. I've, got, I've really grown, I've got, I've got to live here a bunch of different times in different places, so it's always kind of a fun, each time though, it's slightly different experience. It's great. What's the draw of bringing a film to the UK? Well, there's a tremendous group of actors here. There's a tremendous group of craftspeople here. The city and the community here really welcomes film. And film is hard to make and to have an environment where you have a lot of talent and a lot of support. And London's a great city to shoot in, you know? It's a beautiful, it's got a lot of variety. There's a lot to offer. And obviously, Jack Ryan, there have been several Jack Ryan films before. Why do you think audiences keep enjoying this character? I think he's, because he's so much different than all the other characters that play in this genre. You know, he's a thinking man, he's a feeling man. I mean, when he kills somebody, it's not a lightly held decision. It's not like uh, movies I've made with characters where, you know, they'll just cut through a lot of people and keep moving and not have a moment. And he's always making the right decision, no matter what the cost it is to himself. So. I always thought, you know, he's the guy you wish you could be in a moment of, of uh, challenge. Do you think that there's a common thread between Harrison and Alec and Ben and Chris? Well, they're all pretty intelligent guys. Uh, no, in a way, yes. I mean, the common thread's Jack Ryan. Uh, each of them played it slightly different, you know, and each saw a different thing in that. And that's what I think is really interesting about the character is you could look at it and play it in so many different dimensions. And uh, obviously, a few months ago, there was a film called Jack Reacher that came out. Now we have Jack Ryan. Do you think audiences are going to be confused? Was there ever a conversation about that? <laughs> yes, there was a conversation about that. But what are we going to call this movie? You know, it's not based on a, one of Clancy's books. And uh, our intention was to tell the origin story of Jack Ryan. So it seemed like the appropriate thing to do. And in this film, you use a Russian prize for individual as your baddie, because obviously the Cold War has been over for quite some time now. Yeah. You've got to market this film around the world. You've got to market yeah. subsequent films around the world. Have you had discussions about what you could do with future films in terms of the film? No, we don't really think about that, because it's so hard to make the first one right, and then, you gotta, then you're immediately thrust into selling it. So, you know, what we hope is the audience votes by coming a lot, and then we'll get a chance to go on it. But I think what's happened is Chris has created a great version of Jack Ryan, and, and being a young man allows us to go in a lot of ways. Marvelous. Thank you very much, Thank sir. Thank you. Thanks,